Just a note on sound. Narration in a PowerPoint presentation slide is imported as a sound object and appears as a separate object on the timeline. So you would find it sitting on the timeline should there be sound. Even in linked mode, changes made to the audio file in the Captivate project after import are not reflected in the respective Microsoft PowerPoint presentation and vice versa. Sound objects are retained in your Shockwave file that is created from slides containing such objects. Once the files are in Captivate, however, you may treat that project as an ordinary Captivate project, having access to the, the user interface at the top, which is now simplified and intuitive and assists you with inserting interactions, objects, shapes and text, as well as recording any additional audio you may require. To preview that file, you may either preview from any particular slide that you may have selected in your film strip file. Otherwise, choose Project, which is F4, and preview that project as it would look in its final form. Using the toolbar at the bottom, press play or stop, skip through slides using the top section. Once you're done, Click on End and return to the project to continue editing or save it and do your final publication in whichever format you need. This we will cover in another tutorial.